this week Thursday, so that would have been two days ago as of Saturday, November 21st, 2009, um, Google had an event announcing and showing off their Chrome OS, and since they are releasing the same source tree that the developers are using, some people have already created a version that you can play with on your own computer without having to go buy a netbook that's compatible with the official version. Um, you're going to need several things to do this. First of all, you're going to need a computer with at least a gig of RAM and a spunky processor, a halfway decent processor. I mean, I'm mine's a 2.8 gigahertz hyperthreaded Pentium 3. Um, and it seems to be okay and you're going to need to download a couple of things so the first two things are mandatory the third thing I recommend um, I'm going to have this link in the video description um, to this TechCrunch article describing how to do this and when they say you can download this torrent which I did it was really really fast um, so I recommend it using that, this torrent which you open up a new torrent and download it um, you can use this version, which I haven't done. They recommend WinRAR for extracting it. I actually recommend another a free tool, open source tool, called 7-Zip. Um, WinRAR you have to pay for. And then you're going to need VirtualBox. Now, so you know, you just download VirtualBox. So, downloads, Win Intel, for Windows, Intel Max, Linux, they got it for everything. So. Um, I already have installed, but I need to upgrade to the latest version anyways, so, um, some of the interesting things about the Chrome OS are that, um, there are no native applications, it's all web-based, it's basically, they're intending it for the first couple years just to be for netbooks, um, um, and they actually have a limited hardware support, making it boot up a lot faster, like it only supports uh, solid state drives, but um, in the demo they had a 7 second boot up time and 3 seconds to log in, so, I mean, if er and everything's stored in the cloud, so, anyway, so, you know, just install it normally, it may say that with Windows, um, that, like, doesn't pass driver validation or whatever. Um, click it. I'm installing. You know, just normal install stuff. VirtualBox. And this is the key along with this thing I downloaded from that torrent. Um, while that's working, I'm going to extract this with 7-zip. So, I'm going to extract here. And I'm going to pause recording. Okay, at this point, you should have installed VirtualBox and extracted the downloaded image either from the torrent or the other source that that article had a link to. Don't worry, I'll have a link to the article as well as a direct link to the torrent. Um, so then with this downloaded image, this Chrome OS image, blah blah blah, blah we're going to move it. I'm not exactly sure where to place it. I mean, you, you can put it, just leave it on your desktop, but every once in a while I clean out my desktop and I actually delete stuff that I leave there. So I'm going to put it in the VirtualBox folder. I'm not exactly sure where this is in Vista or Windows 7. Um, in Linux, it's just a hidden direct, hidden folder in your home directory dot VirtualBox. Um, I would assume it would be something similar on Mac OS 10. I am not positive. So we are going to cut or copy or whatever. I'm going to go to my computer. See. Um, documents and settings, your username, um, dot virtual box, and hard disks. 
front paste that there. And now we're going to launch virtual box. Then the reason you need the RAM and the processor is because you're going to be creating a virtual machine and that is like a virtual computer inside of a window and that is intensive in computer resources. So, and I'll go back so you, can, so you click on new once you launch VirtualBox. Next, name, I'm going to name it Chrome OS. And this is important, where it says OS type, go down to Linux, where it says version, just leave it at Ubuntu. And I know it's not new Ubuntu, but it is based on Debian, which Ubuntu is based on, so it seems to work. Click next, base memory size, they're recommending 384 for me. Um, I'd recommend closing extra applications and stuff. Um, if you have a lot more RAM, give it more. Um, then use existing hard disk, where it says boot hard disk, virtual hard disk, and your crate. And you are going to add, and then it should open up into the dot virtual box. Um, whoops. Um, hard disk folder. You're going to select the Chrome OS image. So open that. Virtual size 2.78 gig. Actual size 7.1263 megabytes. We're going to select that. And we are going to click next. And finish. And then if everything works it will start up sometimes if your mouse um, disappears in the virtual box window um, what you need to do is hit the right control it says in the bottom right hand corner here what the button is it's called the host key it's a key that kind of brings out the focus um, just by default right control means that you can still use the left control button for keyboard shortcuts and stuff um, let's see why is this taking so long and you can see down here the hard drive activity it's obviously doing something I'll um, pause the recording and come back when this is done when it's loaded Um, well, it turns out that you have to um, do a little configuration before you launch it. So you, um, in VirtualBox, you right-click on the Chrome OS Virtual Machine, click Settings, and then you go down to the Network tab and make sure um, the adapter type is the PCNet-Fast3 attached to is set to Bridged Adapter, and whatever wire or network adapter you use. Um, on your desktop or laptop or whatever. This is mine. And then you want to click this little gear. Make sure this is a random MAC address and the cable connector is checked. So hit OK. And then you hit start and start up. When it gets to the login screen, I'm going to stop recording because I don't want you to grab my email or anything from this. Um, but Oh, it's starting up. Now, this is not a finished product. Um, according to the TechCrunch article, they can't figure out a way to shut the this stuff down from the operating system so you have to do a heart shutdown um, and there are some bugs and stuff but um, Google wants to release this in a year or so um, 
there's time. So here's the login screen. And now I'm going to stop the recording so you don't steal my email.